Today I'm going to talk about how you can rock it and make a great impression on video calls. My name is Antoinette Griffin. With the inundation of video conferences, meetings, social gatherings, it's really changed in the way that we show up, how we're present. You know, you think about it with in-person gatherings, we can convey all kinds of signals to other people with our, with our dress, with our, our movement, our body language from head to toe. But when it comes to video calls, pretty much all that we're able to convey is from here on up. And so therefore, we've, we're so limited in how much we can convey, which means that which we can convey has that much more impact. So I'm gonna tell you about 10 ways that you're gonna be able to make a great impression on video calls. Number one, show up. And by that, I mean, turn on your camera. You know, sometimes it is not possible to turn on your camera, but whenever it is, do it. Turn on your camera. It is so hard to make a great impression with other people when they don't even see you. In a video call, it is so easy to be overlooked when you're not on camera. And the rest of the people that are on camera know how tempting and how easy it is for those who are not on camera to be multitasking and to wonder, are they really engaged or, or can I really call on them or are they really engaged in this call? So whenever possible, turn on your camera. It shows that you are showing up, that you are present and you are engaged in the conversation. Number two, keep your camera straight on at eye level. I've seen so many people that they have their camera down here and so they're hunched over trying to look into the camera or their camera's up high and they're tilting their head back, or they've got a computer monitor over here, and so the camera is faced at the side of their head. Have your camera straight on, look straight into that camera, and show that you are present for the conference call. Number three, if possible, face a window. Face something that gives you lots of light shining on your face. It's hard to make a great impression when you're in the dark and nobody can see you, even when you have your camera on. This can happen so easily because we don't realize how, how dark our room is. Or, or like me, I'm sitting in a room that starts out light, but I'm on a call for a couple of hours and then the room gets dark and I realize I'm sitting in the dark. So when this happens or you don't have a lot of natural light coming in, uh, invest in one of those small ring lights. They're actually making them portable now that you can clip on your computer monitor, that you can clip on your phone and take wherever you go. Number four, whenever you appear on screen, light up with a smile. Smile at the other people on the video call. And as other people come in the video call, actually greet them with a smile or, or when it's appropriate, just wave to them. Think of it like an in-person meeting. If you wanna make a great impression when you walk into a room, you make eye contact with other people, you, you have a pleasant facial expression, you smile, and when you see other people come into the room, you greet them with a smile. So think about your video call being just like an in-person meeting. Greet others with a smile. Number five, keep any notes that you need at eye level. I had to learn this the hard way. I was going back and I was watching a replay of one of my video calls and I was referring to notes and the whole time I was referring to my notes down here and so all people were seeing was the top of my head. And even when I was looking up, my eyes were glancing downward. Certainly, I was breaking that concentration and the connection with those on the screen. And so the best thing to do if you're referring to notes is keep them off to the side at eye level so that your eyes go off to the side and back rather than having to bend your head down and cast your eyes downward. Number six, when speaking to a group, look straight into the camera. It is so tempting to look around the screen at the other faces and, and you think that you're making eye contact with those people, but all everybody else sees 
is your eyes darting around the screen. And so it looks like you're not making eye contact with anybody. So I know that you're trying to feed off the energy and you're trying to read the other faces on the screen, but when you're addressing a group, look straight into the camera and each person is going to feel like you are speaking directly to them because you are. Number seven, maintain a pleasant facial expression. All they're seeing is from here on up, so our facial expressions are magnified on screen because this is all people are seeing. So therefore, what is your resting face? When you are just listening to the rest of the conversation, when you're, you're not actually talking, but you're just listening, how is it coming across? I was guilty of this myself. My husband asked me after a video call a few months ago, he said, were you irritated by something that somebody was saying in the meeting? And I said, no, why? And he said, your face looked like you were irritated. It was just my listening, my resting face. But we have to be hyper aware of that. Doesn't mean that you have to Smile the whole meeting, but what it does mean is if your resting face has ever been conveyed that, that you are uncomfortable with something or you're irritated or that you're bored, just part your lips. When you part your lips, it gives your facial expressions a softer look and it makes you look like that you're curious and interested. So be hyper aware of those facial expressions. Number eight, don't fiddle. Don't fiddle. This is what they're dealing with. This is what they're looking at. So don't touch your face. Don't stroke your neck. Don't play with your hair. It's going to be magnified to others on the screen because they're gonna be watching you. And in the body language world, World, all of those gestures that I mentioned uh, just send, send signs of subtle cues of your self-soothing, which means you may be uncomfortable with something that's being said. So keep your hands still, don't fiddle. Number nine, whenever you do need to reach for something, make sure it's within an arm's reach and preferably in front of you or on the side at an arm's reach. Rather than bending over to your foul cabinet over here to get something or bending way over here to get something, just have it in an arm's reach so that that way you're not losing contact and connection with others on the screen. Number 10, this is gonna be how you leave a lasting good impression. And that is don't be so quick, so hasty to leave the meeting, to press that leave the meeting button. And even more so, if you're hosting the meeting, don't be so quick to press in the meeting for all, forcing everybody to leave the meeting immediately. Once again, treat it like an in-person meeting. When the meeting or the gathering is over, allow for several seconds just for everybody to say goodbye, to smile, to wave. Be slow before you press that button of leave the meeting or in the meeting. I've had to learn every single one of these firsthand myself, and I'm still not perfect, but you know what? These tips will give you more self-awareness. They'll be more top of mind before you go into your next video call. Yes, they take planning. Yes, they take intentionality. And you're not gonna get it 100% right 100% of the time, but I hope that these help you. If you have found these tips helpful, uh, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel.